Hello, this is Joe from Vortex again. Um, I'd like to introduce another new tool that we have. This is our uh, four inch electric dredge. Uh, we call the Eco Energy Dredge. Reason being, uh, we're doing more and more work in the renewables market, offshore wind farms and so on. And um, they've got a big push towards uh, clean energy and of course clean energy tools as part of their uh, uh, solution for the installation of uh, said wind farms and so on. So what we've done here, obviously electric motor, um, this is filled with environmentally friendly biodegradable oil, um, same with the, uh, the coupling. Now we're pretty particular about uh, avoiding leaks, even though it's environmentally friendly, we don't want anything leaking. So we've got two separate compensator systems on this uh, setup here. We've got one which is dedicated to the, um, to the motor itself and the other which is dedicated to the shaft seal system. Now this is the same shaft seal system that we use throughout our fleet on our hydro hydraulic dredges. Uh, it's been a very, very efficient system. We've actually gone one better with that also in that we're using a rising rate regulator uh, system on this. So the more water pressure is built up, the more effective the, uh, the shaft seal is. So two separate uh, compensator systems. So we've got backup upon backup of keeping oil inside and um, making the unit as reliable as possible. Um, very, very well proven unit throughout the fleet. The same water pump as we use throughout our fleet also. Um, now what we've got, this particular motor, in fact this particular setup, the whole thing, um, was designed as a plug and play on the Saab Leopard ROV. And that it's the same motor as the uh, Saab Leopard ROV's um, auxiliary HPU. And the client says, we want to get rid of um, as many hydraulic components as possible. One being the hydraulic motor for the dredge system, hence the, uh, the electric. So the idea is to use the uh, electrical energy coming down from the surface as efficiently as possible. So rather than go from electric over to hydraulic, just go straight to electric, which is a more efficient way of doing it, of course. So um, you'd unbolt the Saab Leopard ROV's auxiliary HPU, bolt this one in place, the same uh, footprint. We've also got other bolts along the uh, other bolt holes along the uh, the flange, so you can put it anywhere you like on the ROV. The cabling is exactly the same as the um, Leopard ROV. In fact, the same plugs. Uh, so this will plug directly into the Leopard ROV as it stands. Um, so very very minimal uh, mobilising. Very very straightforward. Just as I say, plug and play. Anodes all over the place to keep everything nice and tight. Um, it's a 15 kilowatt, 20 horsepower unit at 3000 volts, 60 hertz. It's pulling around 3.7 amps. Uh, so of course it will use, uh, well, it can be used on uh, many different types of ROVs provided you can um, supply the suitable amount of, um, of power required. We're also right now working on making up uh, dedicated cables to go from this motor to as many different types of ROVs that we've identified can use this tool again so you can plug and play. Um, we've seen the push from our clients to go as far as we can towards the environmentally friendly solutions and the 4 inch electric eco energy dredge being one. Um, this is good for 50 tonnes an hour uh, which is around 22 cubic metres an hour and 10% solids by volume uh, being that removal rates. We know these are the removal rates because we've tested it using the magnetite, iron, sand and rocks which we test all of our gear on because that's the predominant um, uh, iron ore and sand that we have in Taranaki in New Zealand here. So that's the skinny on, uh, on the, uh, the water pump side of it, electric motor. I'll move to the Venturi side of it now. So what we've got here, it's the same. Venturi system as we use throughout our fleet. Now, when this is in the frame, which you'll see later, there's a U-bend that joins the Venturi to the water pump. Uh, in the modular application, you'll bolt this anywhere you like on the ROV, and the supplied hose will allow you to come over a remote mount to the water pump. This, of course, being the inlet, and that the exhaust. This is the same patented Venturi that we have throughout our fleet. As I say, we're making 64 kPa of vacuum on this particular setup. On the Tornado 4 inch setup, we're making 97 kPa, um, which is quite simply the highest vacuum of anything on the market. We know that because um, we've tested other designs. 
Um, what we're doing different on the exhaust side of it, we have a couple of different options um, with our reversal valves. This one, particularly one that we're sending out here, clips onto the back of the exhaust. So obviously your debris going through this way. Um, you can mount this directly onto the back of the Venturi, or if you like, you can remote mount this anywhere you like on the ROV, if the space is particularly tight for whatever reason. Uh, just using a shorter section of hose, or a longer section, and mount that wherever you like. Now how this works, very, very simple. We've got a um, vane type uh, actuator, fan type set up here. Now we went this way, we've tried other types of uh, butterfly valves or slide type um, sluice valves and so on, and we found this was by far the easiest way of doing it. Um, a, being no restrictions, and more importantly, there's no chance of jamming the thing. There's um, simply nothing to, to get jammed on. So very, very simple, um, flow efficient way of doing it. And of course you can remote mount that wherever you like. It doesn't have to be part of the Venturi, it can go anywhere you like. Um, on the inlet side of it, we have our suction here. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, ROV manipulator handle here. and. The uh, jetta ring, which bolts to the end of it. So that jetta ring is fed from the water pump outlet. Another hose that comes into this actuator. So from the water pump to the actuator. Actuator will um, obviously turn the water flow on off into the jetta head and allow water to come out of the jetta head. If you want the jetta head on, of course, if you don't, then you just keep the actuator closed. So it's a very, very simple system. Um, we'll show you shortly how it mounts inside the, uh, the frame. Uh, comes supplied with the frame, so if you want to mount it on another ROV, or on the back of an ROV, uh, which is a particular thing nowadays, because most of the ROVs, particularly the new ones, are very, very, very full inside. There's no longer much room to put any tools inside the ROV, because of all the survey equipment that comes out standard on them. So the tooling has to move towards the outside of the ROV now, Hence the need for um, uh, the frame to mount the thing. So as I say, this one um, built specifically for uh, fitment inside the Leopard, uh, the Saab Leopard ROV, but not necessarily um, isolated to that. It can fit any other ROV that will supply it with the uh, right amount of voltage. Um, a very efficient system, and uh, certainly where things are going in the future is the, uh, the electric tooling side of it. So, available of course through HT Technology, um, another Vortex product, and um, we're very, very happy with this one. So this is the same 4-inch Eco Energy electric dredge um, from a previous video. This is on a shipping frame. We've made it a modular system. Uh, four bolts. The whole thing slides out on either end. We're on uh, Teflon runners here. So it slides out very, very easily. So if you want to take it out of the frame and put it into another ROV or into the um, Saab Leopard ROV, very, very simple to do. As I say, four mounting bolts. Um, we've got one cable here that we'll need to unbolt from the anodes, and that's it. Um, so we're joining the anodes between those that are on the uh, tool and those to the frame. So the whole thing is um, cathodically protected. Um, same thing as with our uh, other um, hydraulic dredges. When they're in a the frame, we've got a U-bend here. Very, very simple. Just unclip the, um, the cam locks, take the U-bend off, and, uh, and then you can remove the Venturi and or the, um, uh, the pump if you want to put it in the modular system. And then you can just use the three inch hose to join up the Venturi if it's going to be somewhere away from the pump. And just join them to two up, and then you can put it wherever you like. Very, very simple. Again, with the um, reversing valve, same as I said before, you can go directly onto the edge of the, um, rather the end of the Venturi, on the exhaust end of the Venturi if you like, or remote it, put this somewhere else on the ROV, mount it anywhere you like, not a problem at all. Again, very simple in its operation, as you can see, straight through, nowhere to jam, nothing to get stuck, very, very, very simple, very easy bit of gear. Um, so as I say, modular system,
take it out of the frame if you want to, or bolt the frame to the back of the ROV or to the side of another ROV, anywhere you like. We've tried to keep it as simple as possible. There's mounting holes in the bottom of the frame, so you can put it pretty much anywhere you like. So there you go, that's the, um, the new electric 4 inch Eco Energy uh, dredge from Vortex. As I say, available through Ashtag technology. Um, this particular one made specifically for the Saab Leopard ROV, but in saying that, it'll fit any ROV that it can supply the uh, 3000 volt uh, power supply. As I say, 3000 volts, 60 hertz, we're looking at about 3.7 uh, amp. We've got the uh, standard Burns connector here for the high voltage, and the Subcom connector here, which does the um, temperature and uh, also an internal water alarm inside the, um, inside the motor. So there you go, any questions, uh, just give us, give us a call at, uh, at Ashted or Vortex and I'll be happy to answer your questions.